short Q&A session on the topic of the market forecast with uh, both of our leaders. So, ready to take some questions in the room? Wow. You were so clear. I guess it was good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you could just elaborate a little bit on why the, China, the proportion of the Chinese uh, content will grow. What do you see happening in China? Uh, I clear, clearly, the Chinese market continues to develop. There are new regional airports being added all the time. Well, as the regional airports get added, it's simply the fact that there will be growth in those markets, and we'll continue to see growth in China because of that. As GDP increases, traffic increases. It's, it's, a, it's a relationship that's quite easy to define and to, to look at from the past. So Chinese GDP will increase, regional aircraft, airports will continue to be built, we'll serve those airports with our aircraft. What rate of GDP growth do you see in China? Well, we're not specific on the for, in the forecast on the rate of growth, but if you, if you look backwards and extrapolate forward, it's still as a rate of growth that's higher than North America or Europe, which is why you see a greater uh, percentage of aircraft going into China than perhaps have been going into China in the past. Hi, John Hemmerdinger from Flight Global. Can you give us an idea of what you see as the um, demand from the lessors for these types of aircraft, particularly the C-Series? Well, can you hear me? Um, we, we have strong demand for lessors, actually, if you look at our order book um, as of today, it, it already includes uh, some lessors. Can you hear me now? No. All right. Now, okay. Um, yes, we, we have uh, significant interest from, from the lessors uh, on, on the C-Series, and, and we have a number of, uh, of lessors already committed to the program. And others are showing significant interest, and, and we do expect that to pick up. We have, we have, we are seeing a number of uh, leasing companies this week, and uh, obviously, as, as you're aware, um, as, as uh, the, the new management team has significant ex exposure and experience on the leasing side, so we are very focused on that, and uh, we know the importance of leasing companies. Uh, Ross Scott Hamilton, Lee News. I couldn't see. Uh, really back here, is your forecast of 7,000 on the C-Series or the 100 uh, seat sector go to 149 or 160 seats? So we, um, we forecast, the segment we use is 100 to 150. The, the aircraft though is capable of going up to 160 seats. So the forecast segment is still 100 to 150, but the aircraft at its highest capacity is 160 seats. So that gives us a little more room for movement. Maxime Landry, TDA Nouvelle. Um, J'aimerais vous entendre sur uh, la possibilité de voir un modèle uh, peut-être venir s'ajouter à la famille CS100, CS300. Est-ce qu'on verra un CS500 éventuellement? So, um, the, the question was uh, in, in English um, about the possibility of models coming in addition to the CS100 and CS300, and specific reference to CS500. Um, we, we're very focused right now on the development, certification, and entry to service of the CS100 and CS300. Uh, that is taking up a significant amount of our time. We want to make sure that that is successful and that uh, we, we have a proven platform. Um, obviously, we were always thinking about opportunities to, to develop the family, and, and airlines um, expect uh, more and more to have a family of products. Um, so this is something that we, we will continue to discuss when the time is right. We will consider next opportunities. For now, we're very focused on the CS100, CS300. Would, would you like the answer in French also, or is that okay? Uh, no, no, I uh, would like the answer in French. Um, donc, nous, nous sommes très focalisés actuellement sur le, le développement 
et la certification de la DCS100 et CS300. Euh, il est clair que les compagnies aériennes attendent euh, des, des familles d'avions et dans ce contexte, effectivement, nous avons des questions liées à, au développement d'une plateforme euh, plus, plus grande, éventuellement. Euh, mais nous sommes focalisés, encore une fois, nous voulons avoir une plateforme prouvée euh, avant, de, avant de passer à une éventuelle autre étape, mais nous continuons à avoir des discussions avec les compagnies aériennes à ce sujet. Est-ce que je peux vous demander une euh, dernière précision en français sur euh, le nombre de ventes, 243 commandes fermes, est-ce que vous attendez à avoir une augmentation de ces commandes-là ici au Bourget je, je ne commande pas sur d'éventuelles le, le, commandes au, au Bourget. Nous avons euh, des discussions en continu avec les compagnies aériennes. Je peux vous assurer que ces discussions se sont accélérées. L'intérêt autour de l'avion est très important. Je pense que notre présentation des avions ici au Bourget sera un facteur supplémentaire pour attirer l'attrait. Cependant, nous ne nous focalisons pas sur l'annonce de commandes ou la finalisation de commandes dans le cadre du salon du Bourget. Le salon représente 5 jours d'une année et 5 jours comme, comme 5 autres jours. Donc les commandes dont nous discutons en ce moment se matérialiseront quand elles seront mûres et nous n'allons pas forcer la finalisation d'une commande simplement à cause du salon. Monsieur Lapin, vous Ken Schwartz. Skies Magazine, can you speak a little bit about the replacement market, the 100 to 150 seat replacement market, and uh, the decisions that airlines are making and to either replace or upgauge? Yeah, happy to take that one. Um, there, there has been a fair amount of upgauging in the market of late. Um, that's that's unquestionable. Um, so. 100 to 150 seat aircraft being replaced by larger ones. That has been to a large extent due to the capability and the economic efficiency of the available aircraft. So some of our well, our competitors, Airbus and Boeing, have, have great products in, in the larger capacity ranges and, and that has led some airlines to, to upgauge. We feel there is a significant gap and, and a significant need to, to replace lower capacity aircraft, and we think we have a great solution, and that will accelerate the, uh, the replacement process of those 100 to 150 seaters. A last question, une dernière question avant qu'on enchaîne. Oui, Monsieur le Prince. Euh, sur, euh, bon, apparemment, vos concurrents n'ont pas de modèle précis à, à présenter ici au salon jusqu'à présent, est-ce que vous y voyez un bon signe Et ensuite, j'aimerais savoir si, euh, plus précisément, euh, avec quel genre de compagnie vous discutez pour euh, les, les, les ventes Alors, non, je, je ne veux pas dénigrer nos concurrents. Il y a de, de très bonnes familles chez, chez, chez nos concurrents. Simplement, ils ont choisi de, 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 de remplir une, un créneau de capacité plus important. Euh, et, et donc, euh, les variantes qu'ils proposent dans le cas d'Airbus et de Boeing dans, dans la, la, le créneau 100 à 150 sièges sont, ne sont pas optimisées. Je pense qu'eux-mêmes le reconnaîtraient. Euh, donc, euh, pour nous, ça représente une opportunité. Nous avons l'avion idéal pour, pour cela. Euh, en ce qui concerne euh, l'intérêt que nous avons, je, suis, bon, je ne suis en poste que depuis un peu plus de 4 semaines, mais je suis très, très favorablement impressionné par le, le spectre d'intérêt qui inclut à la fois les compagnies régulières classiques, les, les compagnies de low cost, les charters, euh, les compagnies régionales, donc, et, et, et géographiquement, dans, dans, dans le monde entier, tous les continents sont intéressés. Donc je pense que nous avons un marché important. Je voudrais répondre à cette question en anglais aussi, parce que c'est une très bonne question. La première était relative à basiquement le fait que nos compétiteurs, nous sentons que nos compétiteurs ne sont pas nécessairement the right answer in the 100 to 150 seat market. I, I do not want to denigrate the products of our competitors. They have fine families, simply, uh, particularly in the case of Airbus and Boeing. Um, they have very good products for the, the upper range of the, the narrow body uh, market. Um, but they have um, variants which are not so optimized for the 100 to 150 seat market. So, so there's a significant opportunity for us. And the other part of the question was related to where we see 
interest uh, with respect to the, the C-series family. And uh, I'm very favorably impressed in, in the little time I've been with Bombardier to see that that interest is coming from all the geographical regions uh, of the world um, and all the airline types that uh, we're familiar with. So that's the, the legacy carriers, the large um, flag carriers. It is also the regional carriers. It is also, perhaps somewhat surprisingly to some, the, the low-cost carriers and even the charter carriers. So we have a huge spectrum, both geographically and in terms of applications, and um, we, we, we expect to, to see the number of Final question to that. Just a, a little update on that. Um, you said that there, the variants of Airbus and Boeing are not um, optimized for 100 to 150 seats. What do you mean by not optimized? It's, you, basically, they're larger aircraft to start out with. I mean, you know, Andrea, how, how families go. You have a base aircraft, and then you stretch it, and you shrink it. And, and the, the application for, for, for the 100 to 150 seat market from both the Airbus and the Boeing side is a shrink. And, and we all know that shrinks result in lower efficiencies because you have extra margins, you have more weight, you have a wing that's too big, you have a fuselage that's cross-section that's larger, so you've got more drag, etc. And all of that snowballs. And, and inevitably those products are not as fuel efficient. So I'll, I'll grant you this last question. Uh, good morning, Billy Morgan from Low Fair Angel Airlines. Following on from that, um, at which point between 100 and 150 seats, do you class your uh, two C uh, two C series aircraft as optimized? Um, is either of them a shrink? Is either of them a stretch? Um, and uh, what well, obviously a stretch to a CS 500 wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be as difficult uh, for you as going small. But uh, where is the optimization point for yourselves on the two family series as it stands? Yeah. We're we, we, um, we, we developed the two together um, with a view to, to getting as close to optimization as possible, but obviously the CS300 is, is, uh, is, is slightly more um, uh, focused in terms of optimization. So that concludes our query session on this.